Hello, welcome back to Blender Sushi Live Noting. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna um, use um, Stretch of Add-on basically to quickly um, grab some kind of um, object ID uh, data or parameters um, or object ID values and then turn it into like some kind of text object that you can quickly visualize. So in this case, um, I have these uh, five objects and then um, using Stretch of, I, I managed to generate um, text objects simply by grabbing the name of each object. So if I change this uh, Suzanne name into Angela and by updating it, uh, I think it should update the, this text. Uh, yeah, I think it should. Maybe I have to update this. Let me one, two, three, four, five, and then get selections. There you go, it's updating itself. Um, so yeah, let's quickly have a look uh, how we can do this. I'm gonna save this and start with a new uh, empty blend. So I'm gonna delete everything and I will create actually a bunch of objects. Default cube, monkey, um, torus, uh, just three objects for now and I'm gonna save it real quick as SV text uh, visualization demo. Zero, zero, 001 and gonna go to compositing layout and let's work with these guys select one two three three objects and switch to stretch up and create objects in get selections cube Suzanne Taurus okay uh, we know that using the object Using object ID nodes, uh, we can basically set and actually grab uh, any kind of data blocks. So in this case, we actually want to grab the, the name. So I'm gonna pipe in this object and then uh, with this node, we can set the name for the objects, but we can also grab uh, the output. So it's, like, it's actually get and set at the same time. If you have output, then it's gonna grab the, the output. So currently, we can see now we already grabbed the data. So Cube, Suzanne, and Taurus. Um, that's the name of these three objects. Now, if you want to output like a text objects, we can use the typography viewer. So this actually will generate text objects on the fly. Um, we simply need to provide the, the string data or text object in this case. So if we plug this output into the text and then use the matrix of the objects. You can see that we have uh, basically, we just have a character which is uh, which is not quite right. Um, so I believe we need to at least join this data one time. So we need to join it one time. So we have this like a double bracket. So that's actually the data type that's straight shock lights. Once we list join it, we can pipe it into the text. And now uh, uh, the text object is correct. So cube, Suzanne, and Taurus, uh, that's the name of these objects. And we can actually change the alignment to center. And perhaps, uh, perhaps with the matrix, we can offset it using matrix deform. Uh, let's try that again, matrix deform. So this is the original uh, transform value from the object, right? And then we can use a vector in and kind of transform it a little bit up, for example. And currently the text is actually flat. We can always um, extrude it a little bit and then, okay, it needs to be rotated as well. So for the rotations and for the angle, um, to, rot to rotate these uh, objects, we can use the, the rotation and angle. So I think by default, um, the rotation doesn't do anything. We need to provide um, axis. So vector, so if you look at this um, axis, I think we need to rotate it in the in the X. So one, zero, zero. Pipe this into the rotations and then now we can rotate it 90 degree. So there you go. We have the name of the objects and the total, um, and it's all like generated procedurally on the fly and we can add more objects 
cylinder and all sort of objects you can have um, in Blender. You can also have the camera. I think the camera will have name and also Metaball. I don't use Metaball at the moment. Curve objects and uh, I don't have extra objects. So anyway, this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just grab all of them. And so you can see uh, with the camera, it's actually the, the text objects kind of following the transform of these objects, uh, which is kind of okay, but probably this is better. There you go, camera, cone, cylinder, icosphere, cube. So all these um, primitive objects, some of uh, primitive objects in Blender that you can generate and using SpareTalk uh, setup, you can easily get their name and then kind of uh, generate text object for them. So I think this is kind of neat. It's a pretty simple example, but I think it's uh, pretty useful. If you have like uh, maybe like uh, 100 characters and you want to get the names of them very quickly and then render it out, this is kind of nice to visualize that. And, and of course, uh, this is actually live and then you, you can always change it to, let's say locations and then you get this vector value, you know, um, that might be what you want as well. Uh, even though it's, uh, it's giving this a value, I think you can actually do this to get directly to the value uh, location. So that's actually giving out uh, different type of data. Location X, so that's location X, location Y, and location Z, you can separate those um, we can also get all sort of um, data type, like maybe the name of materials, if you like. Uh, but anyhow, um, that's the basically the basic idea. Um, you can certainly do this using animation nodes as well. I might do that in the next video or no, uh, we'll see. But yeah, so this is how you can actually um, generate some kind of uh, text visualizations using special. Uh, thanks again for tuning in. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.